Tattoos. I don't get tattoos. Well, I've been teaching college across the country for 16 years, and I've known a huge change within the under 30 demographic. Tattoos. Um, a large percentage have tattoos. So I got really curious and started asking questions. Well, Colleen and I were sitting on her couch one day. I have tattoos and she does not. And she said, why is it so popular right now? I said, well, I'll tell you my stories and why I got mine. And she said, that's a really good idea. We should write a play about that. I've not seen anything about tattoos performed before. Tattoos were not just ink. It was not just a pretty flower on someone's skin. They had personal meanings. It was life stories. One tattoo represented a huge moment in someone's life. Every time I saw one of my students with a tattoo, I'd say, why do you have one? When did you get it? How old were you? What was your reasoning? And then I saw a study uh, that was done in 2003 that said more people in the United States have tattoos than don't under the age of 30. And that really fascinated me. I was raised as a dancer, so my initial um, artistic idea for this piece was to create the tattoos with people's bodies and that morphed into puppets in the background. And then also using the spoken word to talk about what we were showing. I think we have, um, in our country and all over the world, we have a terrible habit of looking at someone and judging them. And for the last 16 years of my life, I've written productions across the country that deal with respecting other people's choices. They're not hurting anyone by getting a tattoo on their skin. It's a personal choice. So don't judge someone by what they look like, whether it's a tattoo or skin color. It's just who they are. And that's what I'm hoping people will walk away from. Getting rid of some of their misconceptions of people with tattoos or just people that look different than themselves.